Hello everybody, welcome. I'm Sujia, coach of Jump to Jump Tricks, and today we are having our week 8 battle of the GXA season 7, I believe. And we are up against Palm Tree, coach of the Philadelphia Fallings, and reason for the nickname of my Alamomola, because thanks to you, you sniped my Milotic, and then you sniped my Toxa packs for victory. F for stars, I guess, I'm not a coach. So, thanks for sniping my two warders. And I mean that in both senses, both ironic, both sarcastically, and both... Uh, I don't know how to take English. I mean in both ways, because if you wouldn't have sniped both warders from me, I wouldn't have drafted Alomomola, and Alomomola has been really good for me this season, so thanks for that. Anyway, I'm nervous about this. He's saying he's just going to play for fun, but he also said that last time and totally crushed me with his Espeon. But, yeah. His team consists of a Mega Galade, Tapu Koko, Garchomp, My Milotic, Sylveon, which has a nice name, which we hope you'll see, <laughs> Registeel, Motruscalar, Venomoth, Torkoal, Kamala, and Meganium. Meganium is not going to come. <laughs> well, it might actually come, because if he really is for fun, then maybe it comes. If it actually comes, then it might be a problem for me, but we'll see. Um, yeah. Overall, scary team. I'm mostly uh, worried about the Galade because Galade absolutely fucks my team if it has the right moveset. Garchomp can absolutely fuck my team if it sets up with SD and Scale Shot, and Venomoth can fuck my team if it sets up Quiver Dances and sleeps my entire team. So. Wonderful. <laughs> the team we have is, of course, Mega Brötchen. A low pony with the Scrappy, the Mega. I decided I'm just gonna bring Scrappy because he has no static. I'm gonna Mega first turn anyway. I'm not gonna switch into anything. So why do I even bother to bring Limbo on this? But yeah, 260 speed, 216 speed with Jolly Toad Speed Coco. Fake out so we can potentially um, pick off a chipped, defense dropped, scale shop boosted guard chomp. Close combat, U-turn, return, basic stuff. To it chaos the entire team, as long as we are at speed, and the things are chipped. Not Batman, a Glisco of the Toxigob, special defense of this time, with the careful nature, Roost, U-turn, Defog, and Earthquake. My main check for Venomoth, because if we get Toxic early or off, off early, then he can't sleep my Glisco, and Glisco easily shrugs off any attacks, and to it chaos of Earthquake, so, yeah. Also, my Coco check because Coco can't, I absolutely cannot touch this at all and dies to Earthquake, so yeah. Otherwise, Glisco doesn't really do anything, but that's Glisco. <laughs> Cat hates me for this. Goethe the Gothitel, whoopsie, with the Choice Scarf. Shadow Tag, of course, with a pretty decent, with a weird status distribution. HP, some special attack, 120 special defense, and 132 speed. To outspeed non scarf, no, out to outspeed no speed Milotic after a scarf is tricked. Because we have three traps, or we have three targets that we want to trap and trick. One of them is Registeer, another is Sylveon, and Milotic. Sylveon would be the best one for me because if we trap scarf Sylveon, or rather trap trick Sylveon, then he can't just wish star me, he can't baton pass freely, or he can't wish baton pass, he can't wish star me, he can't set up. And Milo Tick and Reggie still don't really mind the, the scarf as much. So I'm hoping for that. Unless he brings like setup Reggie still, then I happily he's tricked it as well. Psyshock to hit Milo Tick and Sylvan on their weakest physical defense. Magic code so we can potentially bounce back some Toxics or Stealth Rocks or whatever. Maybe even bounce back Venomoth's own Sleep Powder, which would be funny. And taunt so we can semi 1v1 Sylveon, Milotic, and Registeer because we can taunt them. We can taunt all three. We outspeed them all unless we have scuffed them, which is obviously. But yeah. Since my set Also, we have to spit death so we take less from um, Hyper Voice from Sylveon. The other two don't really do much unless Seismic Toss, Registeer. But yeah. He might bring uh, Shadow Tag, no, he might bring um, um, Shed Shell Sylveon or Shed Shell Registeer, although I don't think he brings Shed Shell Sylveon because he can just Baton Pass out technically, but if I taunt him before he can Baton Pass out, then that's a win-win. <clears throat> and yeah, 
Palms net, the second the Alamomola with HP and the physical defense. My main check for um, Guard Chomp and Galay. Wish, Protect, Toxic and Liquidation. Liquidation does a lot of damage to both of them, like 20 to 25 to Guard Chomp and 30 to 35 to Galay, which is a decent chunk, especially if you pair it with um, Low Pony's Fake Out. Wish, Protect for healing, for Goth with that. For Goth with that. God! My fruit is dry. Jesus. I haven't talked so much in a long time. Whew. Wish Protect to heal the Almomola, to heal Gorfotel and keep the team happy and keep some momentum up. Toxic, so we can because it's only non toxic. Able Mon is Registeel and Venomoth. And Registeel is a wall and doesn't do much. And Venomoth dies to liquidation, so Toxic is really free, so we can cripple some stuff and sweep with Lop Honey. Kettenwalzer, the Scolipede with Life Orb, 80 HP, 252 attack, 160, 176 speed, Jolly Nature. It's mainly here to um, support Low Pony in preparing the team so Low Pony can sweep, or rather clean. Protect to get the speed boost to be faster than Guard Chomp at plus one. Poison Jab and Axes are for stabs because they hit the team really everything, and Earthquake is for Rage Steel, which is like the only one that doesn't resist, resist the dual stab. But also does a lot of damage to Coco, which, but yeah, we have poison over that. So yeah, I ran Exorcist over Megahorn because Megahorn, the the, def, the damage difference isn't that huge. So I rather run Exorcist because it's more accurate because both Exorcist and Megahorn to hit KO Garchomp with Life Orb. So I don't really see the point in running Megahorn. I don't think Megahorn is a, I think Megahorn is a road to Oko Garchomp. I don't know, but yeah. Then we have Carvel Salad with Select Berry, the Circuitry, which is also which can either sweep the team or be a also a, a support for Megalopani. Select Berry, Modus Nature, Special Attack, H Speed, Tail Glow, Endure, Energy Bond, Rising Voltage. Now this set is one of my favorites because we Tail Glow on something like Coco, Registeel, I don't know, something that can touch us, we get plus three, we endure on whatever comes in to try and revenge kill us, we get the speed boost, and then we energy bond rising voltage our way through the team. Because rising voltage, if he brings Coco, is the punishment for bringing Coco, because then we get a doubled electric stab. And that's nice. <sighs> and yeah. I think it's time to challenge now, and I'm nervous. Are we still recording? Yes, we are. Seven minutes. <sighs> okay. I'm nervous. Okay. Week seven. Double checking that my team does that right to Because shoutouts to Marshy, because she told me to bring Tail Glow, because Thunderbolt and Rising Vultures, Luchas, and I wasn't so sure about bringing Tail Glow. Um, but yeah. <sighs> I'm nervous. <laughs> okay. Challenge. I definitely expect Gallade, Mega Garchum, maybe Coco. Coco is the one thing that I'm unsure about. Registeel or Sylveon, maybe a Milotech. I expect Sylveon for sure, and then either Registeel or Milotech. Venomoth, maybe. Meganium, maybe. Wait, is my cam correctly? So, I haven't done this in a while. <sighs> I am nervous as freak. So yeah, my biggest concern is, is of course, don't let Galate set up, don't let Garchomp set up. We can't give either of those mons free turns, or we have to re reduce those turns as much as possible. Especially because Galate is not affected by Fake Up because it cannot flinch thanks to Inner Focus. The first time I see Inner Focus actually valuable, so we have to keep that in mind. Do not Fake Out Galate, ever. <laughs> Wait, do we have you turn on low honey? Yes, okay. Okay, where is he?
Do I have to ping him again? Come on, dude, you're such a here. What are you? God. The temperature is wonky here. We have winter. And winter is wonky because it's either warm, it's either cold, it's sometimes both. South America. <laughs> I'm gonna ping him again. I'm too nervous. I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. <laughs> Steam notifications are not shown in the recording, right? Good. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. He actually broke Kamala. He didn't bring a lane! No. <laughs> <laughs> really high yeah okay <laughs> ah. Bring the moth, stupid moth. I also do not. So analysis, Sylveon, bulky, wish passing, might be specs and have a problem, but then we can trick it. Gertram, SD setup, gonna screw me, Coco, maybe Scarf, to check my low party, Venomoth, quiver than sleep, gonna fuck me over, Moltres, might be this nasty plot rest talk set, which I might want to trick as well, and Glade, it's gonna fuck me over because it's gonna have four moves called a Triple Axel, Stone Edge, CC, and. Knockoff? Or SD. <coughs> At least it has no way to boost speed, which means No Pony and Scorpion should always be able to revenge kill. Pony as always. I hate you. I hate you so much. <laughs> I do not want Low Pony to be slept. So. Oh, I could all go to this. But 
I'm not gonna risk it. This is totally shield dust as well. This is totally shield dust. I honestly think Scorpion is the best sleep fall for this. He didn't! <laughs> oh my god, best case scenario. <laughs> Get trapped! Now we trick. of this. Interesting. Ooh. Ooh, no, it has to struggle. <laughs> This is rough. <laughs> I totally didn't realize. <laughs> you were not for God's sake. <laughs> that was so boring. <laughs> but yeah, this is how Garfita traps Zillion. With that, Zillion did its job. Totally. Did it just say Zillion did its job? <laughs> Watch this. Watch this play. I hate you. You forget that Psy Shock. Attacks Fizz Death. <laughs> you realize. <laughs> Oh lord, I never see the crits. <laughs> hmm, probably. Max roll. Sorry. I knew it was really tough. <laughs> Pfft. 
one reveal. Just for me. Well. How sad you didn't wait. I'm stupid. <laughs> Why did I expect you to sleep a toxic god? Going to Glisco. I'm not risking that this is Scarf and die to a gla the, 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 the dazzling gleam. So we switch in Glisco on this. Those four mons are the other threats of the team, except Coco. I'm not really concerned about Coco. Garchomp is scary, Moltres can be scary, and Galate is scary. I'm gonna use her. We have PSDs. He takes the 16. Definitely offensive. So Fake Out should do 19 to 23. And that should hopefully put it in a range where just combo kills. I'm not sure. Risk that though.
Mm-hmm, cool, cool, good to check back with his score. Gallied? Kind of, I don't. I have to do it. Please be enough. Yes! No bunny did on! Okay. Yeah, they tried. My luck has been that bad at times. I was pretty scared. <laughs> to live on that roll. <laughs> you say that. As if I ever run anything else on the roll. Then do stab. Turn fake. <laughs> <laughs> All my homies in the instrument. Exactly. Running Axel is just no risk. Yeah, I think this is gonna be a short match. Substitute. Liquidation breaks the substitute. Nope, we don't. Wonderful. I love Arlo. And thanks to Paul, I got it. What does Moltres do? I have no idea what this fuck shit does. Now...
as the blood. I just want to free switch into my... Into my Zerg, please. Why am I why 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 So you have no speed. So you are the rest of set. Red is gone. Good. So if the leg comes in, you click enter. And hope that you close combats me. Palm. 
Can you please kick CC? I wanna show you heat. Please. I'm begging you. <laughs> Thanks. You're gonna sneak me anyway. <laughs> I'm chill. <laughs> no! Okay! I wanna scoff Coco. Coco often runs Scar. What do you mean? But yeah, GG's Paul. Definitely a be scared for a few moments. Also, are you actually gonna click CC the blade right away? Because then didn't put me into selling range exactly. <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> I just expected. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to be fair, huh? I'll send the sets in disk so it can look later. Dress. Let's start. <laughs> but yeah, and so we are eight weeks undefeated. Now it's only down to King. Break my undefeated chain. Okay, next week we are fighting King. And he's the last bastion to break my undefeated streak in this season. And I'm gonna go hard on him. I have no idea what his team's team is anymore. I have absolutely no idea what his team is. But I'm gonna go hard on him because I really, 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 really thank you. <laughs> because I really want to go the season undefeated. <laughs> and really anger Cat because he shitted on my team and then he's gonna go undefeated. <laughs> oh yeah, this makes me happy. But yeah. It was very scary for sure. Venomoth got me scared, Moltres got me scared, Garchomp and Galate got me scared. Everything was scary on this team, so I'm glad, I'm very glad we managed this. Also, shoutouts to Palm for allowing me to sweep him with my circuitry. Very cool dude. Give him some love. Sh tell him he's cool, I don't know. I gotta go because I have stuff to do, like dinner and other things. So, bye everyone and hope you all enjoy.